R&D tax credits, are you claiming? The Small Business Commission are looking to increase powers to tackle late payment and business confidence edges up, but investment appetite remains low. All of this in the latest Business Finance Bulletin. Let's open this bulletin with news of a great scheme run by the government which will allow you to reduce your corporation tax liability or in some circumstances actually get a cash refund into your bank account. The scheme I'm talking about is the Research and Development Tax Credit Relief Scheme or R&D credits as it's better known. The scheme has been around for a number of years and what it's all about is the government wants to incentivize firms to continue investing in innovation investing in new ways of doing business and to incentivize businesses to spend. They came up with the R&D tax credit scheme where you can claim back some of these eligible costs. And that refund will then come in the form of either a reduction to your corporation tax liability, or if you don't actually pay corporation tax, then they will actually pay that cash refund direct into your bank account. Doesn't get better than that, does it? Well, the annual report has now been released uh, by the National Statistics Office and HMRC as regards the level of activity under this scheme. Uh, the figures are for 2017 and 18, with some indicative figures for 2018, 19 as well. It takes time for this scheme to be finalized. So it makes interesting reading as regards the level of activity. For 2017-18, the number of R&D claims stood at 62,095. Of those, just over 54,000 were claims from small businesses. Now, in terms of the amounts refunded and claimed back again for 17-18, that stood at £5.1 billion. And in 1819 to date, it stands at £5.3 billion, of which smaller businesses account for £3 billion of that. So we can see there's a good amount of money being claimed back by small businesses. So if you think that you could be eligible and you have changed the way you do business, first of all, I would suggest you get an expert R&D firm on board. They really know what to look for to make sure you maximize your claim. If you want an introduction to a firm that I can recommend, then no problem, just drop me an email, info at business services.co.uk and I'll make that intro. So please don't miss out on this opportunity to claim some cash back from the government as a reward for being an innovative business. Late payment, it's a problem that never goes away. And the UK government is constantly trying to find new ways of improving payment practices amongst the larger firms, which typically can be very slow in paying invoices due to small businesses. Well, in December 2017, the government set up an independent body, the Small Business Commissioner Office. Now, that commissioner um, is charged with effectively acting like an adjudicator. So if a small firm has a problem in getting paid under an invoice from a larger firm, they can ask that office to investigate on their behalf. And the commissioner, they will go in, investigate and lay out terms under which that firm should pay. So it's been relatively successful, but the government now wants to give them a few extra powers. There's a consultation paper which has been released and the government is seeking views. So what additional powers do they want to give? Well, first of all, they want to give the commission officer the right to say that, well, if I have adjudicated against you, you have to pay. You have no choice in which to pay up. So that's the first thing that they want to do. The next thing they want to do is if a complaint has been issued, they want to compel the firm to release papers in order to help the investigation move along. Another power that the government wants to give is that even if a complaint has not been raised, they want the commissioner's office to have a power to investigate a firm anyway. This is getting a little bit heavy. And also they want to widen the remit of the office to uncover kind of areas other than late payments. So to say this is getting rather far reaching. So if you've got some views on this or other powers that you want the commissioner to have to help tackle late payment, you've got until the 24th of December, 2020 in order to put your views in. And if you have some views, you can just go along to their website, which is Small Business commissioner.gov.uk. 
Let's close this bulletin with a mixture of some good news and bad news. First, the good news. Lloyds Bank Commercial Banking, part of their monthly business barometer series, has reported the fourth consecutive increase in business confidence levels. So, yeah, good to see now over the last four months a continual increase in business confidence. The last increase in September did show a smaller increase in confidence levels compared to August, and that's probably a reaction to the kind of concerns about a second wave of COVID-19 in the region lockdowns but still good to see business confidence on the way up and um, countering that the latest report from the British Chambers of Commerce uh, one section took a look at investment appetite a bit concerning to see that 37 percent of businesses still have a negative attitude when it comes to investing in plant and machinery and equipment and in fact 46 percent of them said they have no immediate plans to invest and in fact only 17 percent of them say that they are thinking to invest in new equipment now of course it's a bit worrying you've got to make sure that you don't fall behind the competition and don't forget as i mentioned in the first segment there are going to be some incentives as well for you to continue investing in innovation but overall good to see that business confidence levels are starting to tick back up Well, that's it for another bulletin. As ever, I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a like and a share. So that's it. Look forward to being with you again next time. In the meantime, have a great, successful and safe week.